left. Yes. Oh, no, actually, you could go right. Sorry. Oh, I'm, F -F -F I'm just doing this to you deliberately F -F -F. now. Whoa! <laughs> Feel that. Goodness me. The thing rears right up. It's got some pickup. It's a bit of a hydrofoil. It does, doesn't it? It yeah. motorboats, like, it that's does. extraordinary. Yeah. It does rear up. There's no, do you know how fast this goes? Well, if the speed limit was 50, I would hope it would do 50 miles an hour because that's the law. It does 187. Does it? <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> on a private test track. Yeah, of course. Okay, can I just, I just want to get <clears throat> a couple of things off my chest about this car. Firstly, I put a picture of it on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. And I know how I feel about the aesthetics of this car. I think no, it's, it's, it's pretty hideous. And it's hardly any better than the original concept, which they shied away from and went, oh, um, we'll make it much better yeah, than don't this. Worry, it'd be nicer than that. It, yeah, that's yeah. what they said, because yeah, everyone went, lie. Yeah. Mm. So I put it on there and just went, you know, there it is. Didn't say it was shit looking or anything. There's a whole string of abuse just going, so ugly, money can't buy class, mm. hideous, awful. I've just done a bit of sick into my mouth. One person went, do you know what? I like it because of all of its detail. And I asked them to elaborate, because like, what do you mean what detail? And they said things like, well, it says Bentley in the headlights. And it's like, dude, a Golf did that 12 yeah, years ago. Yeah, that's not a reason to like a car, is it? Now, the Bentley's face, which is probably its worst yes. um, asset, um, it looks like um, a 16-bit rendering of what the car was going to be. But the car is now reality, but it still has its own rendered face. In the same way that, to me, um, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's actual face <laughs> looks like a representation of what his face could have been. And I know this sounds bitchy, and I don't mean it to sound bitchy, because I know he has a legion of fans, yes. um, and he's, he's a very attractive man to women, apparently. Yeah. I think he... he Unconventionally looked, attractive, I think, possibly, but, but it yes, looks like, undoubtedly, he's, he's um, girl bait. Yeah. His face looks like it's not made of skin. It's made, it's synthetically constructed using other materials. I know what you mean. He looks like a bad model of himself. <laughs> he looks like Lionel Richie's head in the Hello video <laughs> relative to real Lionel Richie. <laughs> a sort of yeah. good but not that good rendering. Yeah, The that's... proportions are a little bit off. And you're right, the proportions of the Vantega are... They're not right. They're not right. They are not. It's a wrong one. Now, here's the thing. I saw the pictures of this. A little bit of sick. I went to the motor show, whichever motor show it was, Frankfurt, where they first showed it off. Really choked me down. <laughs> you know, it was a bit of a verb. And, and then I saw my first one in the real world. There's no easy way to say this that won't make me sound terrible. But I, I was in Beverly Hills, outside a ritzy hotel in Beverly Hills. And there oh. was a white one oh. outside. No, no. I actually did, did a choky perfect. sicky. No, it looked perfect. It fitted in. And you see it in context <clears> in, say, Beverly Hills. And I think the same would apply if you're outside of an expensive hotel in, say, uh, Dubai. Yeah. Oh, it's, it this has got... It fits in. It's got Arab Emirates and SoCal Excess all over it. Because, because otherwise, I, what I will say, it's incredibly comfortable. And it's amazingly quiet, even when you're matting the throttle. It's incredibly it quiet. It's just, it's very, very refined. The base price is 160. Yes. Right. Yeah. Expensive. Mm. Okay. So what? 60 and a bit more than a, a Range Rover SVR. Yeah. And this particular car is 203,000 with options. And it has about what? four options. It's like four options. What options? <laughs> the, I mean, so what, the, the what name is in here that you shouldn't be getting for free. Well, the because... name, the name, two thousand watt stereo okay. system right. is, is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. It, there's, a, there's no doubt that it's wonderful. Yeah. It's right. it's six thousand three hundred sheets. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, but, no, 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 no. Six thousand three hundred sheets. Just, Six thousand three hundred pounds. Yes. For an upgraded stereo. For the upgrade, yeah. I don't know what the original was I like. I would want. Aretha fucking Franklin to be in the back seat singing to me for that. Yeah. That is ridiculous. I know, I know. Oh my lord. I coughed. And then, um, see these really badly unintegrated screens, yes. to, which yes. I think is, is, is really hideous. It looks like um, well, generic like, Chinese ones that are just stuck on. That, yes, that's really um, bad. And the Range Rover Sport does suffer from the same option. 
they are 4,300 oh, sheets. For, they're 4,300 sheets. Again, so that's, that's two options. I want Sir Ian McKellen <laughs> sitting here. Acting, acting. Doing, well, I mean, granted, you'll have your kids in the back. So I want him doing Peppa Pig. I want him <laughs> giving it the full in the night garden. Anything you request for four yeah. grand. That is absurd. What's the dude that played Cadfile? Um, uh, so Derek Jacobi. Derek Jacobi. He does do in the night Yes, garden. let's have Derek Jacobi there doing open yes. air theatrics. Eagle piggling his face off yeah. as you drive along yeah. live for four grand. Do you reckon we could get Goodness him? Goodness me, that ten grand just that's, on that's, inter- that's, entertainment-y things. Yeah, and the, the stereo is wonderful. Not sure it's worth it the money. Better pigging had be for yeah. six grand. Yeah. Oh my yeah. saints. Heated, I, heated steering wheel that's two tone leather. Yeah. Okay, how much? Well, since it's, it's not, six it's, grand for a slightly gruntier stereo, I'm going to say 600 quid. 710, oh. I think it is. But you don't get it as standard. Again, I'm like, it's 160k this car. Yeah, it doesn't come standard naughty, with the heated steering wheel. It's very naughty. And, and this is when I start to go, it's a Bentley, therefore it has to be really well executed. And I think the devil's in the detail with a car like this. When you put the heated steering wheel on, I know this because I timed it, it takes longer than a Range Rover heated steering wheel. And it's only really hot there. What? So if this was a clock, what would it be? 11 to one? So the stereo, the ill-fitting infotainment behind me for the rear passengers. Bear in mind, this is a four seat, not a five, which is an option to have the ultra large console. This, here we are. I was going to say, this is brown, you know that, this car's brown. Well, no, it's not, Johnny. It's Havana. Hey, no. Hey, no, Havana. I like brown cars, though. I'm not going to call no, I'm, I am, I'm foul on that. However... A brown Bentley. However, sunshine specification. Yeah, what an... What an now, this is, this is quite a biggie, because it's £1,550 sunshine specification, which is double sun visor, leather sun visor. Like a leather sunburst. Oh, I see. Oh, look at this. So oh, the how sun's does this come to your out? side. Yes. But for some reason, you're on a distant planet that has two suns. <laughs> and you can put that down and block them both out. This is awesome. Well, that's fantastic. George Michael would, would have liked Well, now that. that is well worth £1,550 because you also get, in sunshine specification, electrically operated blinds for the rear side. Oh, yeah, my kids found them within about five minutes of me okay, getting the so car. Something for a... A, a, a celestial condition that simply doesn't exist and something that your children will break for 1500 But you know, this is, good for, this is good for celebrities that want the attention but oh, don't. Yeah. So hold it like that and then raise your seat now. Pretend you're a much shorter person. Yeah, okay. Raise your seat electronically. Just respect my privacy. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, okay. I see? Can see that. There you go. Now look at this though. I've made a cock of it because I've put them the wrong way around. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's not, I do like a leather sun visor though. I like a leather sun visor. It feels luxurious. Um, Aston's are good at that, I think. I think Aston's are now, v- pretty good at that. Bit of embossed leather. Touring specification. Jeez, that touring specification is £5,900. And it is? Adaptive cruise control. Yeah. You, know, you get that for free on a Golf. I was going to say, we're talking about a car that bases at 160. Bentley Safeguard Plus scans the road for possible frontal collisions, blah, 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 so that's okay. That's very good. Blah, blah, blah. Head up display, lane assist, night vision. Well, that's to see if there's a person behind a wheelie bin that's about to jump out at yeah. you. Things like that. I've, I've tried that on other cars and find it distracting. Yeah, I do. And um, finally on the spec sheet, um, £440 for Smoker's specification. Ah. Now, there's no there's no footnote for that, so I don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. It means there's a trad sig lighter Ooh, look, it's and f- feel the weight of that. If you Is threw that, sh- yeah, you know like an old fashioned pub ashtray, if you oh, threw that Lord, at a crim, yeah. you'd put them out. Is this a crim's car? I sort of feel like it is a bit. Um, it's got a whiff of up to no good and not in a charming way like a Jaguar, just an actual no good way. Well, my, like, my thought is this. These days, I've noticed a lot of people who want, want over luxury, but they, they, they're not really car enthusiasts. They just want to show that mm. they're, they're luxing it up. They go for SUVs. And what the old, the old school weight, weightlifting bodyguard type dude mm. who had a BMW 6 Series on the tick, they're all going for SUVs. They're all Q7ing it now. Yes. I think. 
I have a theory that the sportier the SUV, the more likely the driver is up to no good. Yeah. So your full-size Range Rover, yes. yes, it attracts some bad people, but it also attracts old money people who summer in on team yes. and so on. Because it's not very overtly sporty. It's not mischievous. The X5, quite sporty, attracts terrible people. KNs, very sporty. I mean, just uh, not exclusively, but a lot of scum in KNs. Yeah. And the Range Rover Sport attracts a lot more naughty, below the law people than the full fat Range Rover. It is dirtier. So the sportier your SUV, the more likely you are to have. I mean, not just tax irregularities, but a lock-up where you keep things that aren't really yours. Like people, like human like, trafficking. Yeah, like human limbs and yeah. artworks and bags of powder. I'm, t- I'm totally with you. All manner of stuff. Suitcases with non-sequential notes in them. Yeah. That's but, basically... The, but the range sport, is, the, for the, the super dodgy, it's always the high-spec petrol. It's always yes. petrol. Because well, you see cash economy, isn't it? You just you, you just pop your hand into the, the the one of the briefcases of notes and just pull out a wad, and that's filled up your Range Rover Sport. Put Get a ton in the tank. Charged engine going. We know that sporty SUVs attract crims. Now, yeah. is this a sporty SUV? Because to my mind, Bentley are quite sporty, and yet this is at the same time very luxurious. I, 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 I gave it some the other night mm-hmm. um, on a quiet road and it, the grip is phenomenal. Yeah. I've said it's quiet already because it is quiet. It's a six litre, it's a 600, 600 horses this is. Six and um, 664 pounds feet of torque. The torque is huge mm. but it is quite suave and it's quite quietly delivered and... Yeah, it's not... They're going to do a sporty one. I, yeah, I just well, know they, they will. They are because that that man with a lot of sobs, who's ostensibly made his money in, in a chain of uh, restaurants and laundrettes, but actually <laughs> coin uh, up, coin up. Some uh, has uh, an undeclared boat, which he sails in from southern Spain, having intercepted another <laughs> boat which has just arrived from South America, for reasons we can only speculate on. Yeah. And he's looking forward to the the. The Bentayga Speed, or whatever they'll call it. Yeah. Aside from the fact that it, it, it's a powerful engine, this is a big, heavy, yeah, big, yeah. Dynamic car. Does it, when you brake hard, does it feel like physics is being sort of torn? Yeah. Well, where I live, near all those bat lanes, there's no doubting that it, it does feel heavy. It mm. feels like you're trying to bring a very large object to a standstill. Yeah. And that's the give. That's always the giveaway, isn't it? it is the it's giveaway. that you can do as much with your tricksy anti roll. 48 volt electric active anti roll stuff, which is it's yeah. got, hasn't it? But, yeah. but and it's, it's really your impressive. braking. Braking gives you away. It's like fat people. Fat people who lose a lot of weight, but if you're an inherently sort of quite fat person, your ankles will give you away. Look, inside this 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 thing's good, but the more I've driven it and I looked at it. I really do like the inside because I like the attention to detail that Bentley put into things. And I like the leather is exquisite quality and the stitching is all great. And I mean, these switches actually a little bit plastic. I was, but as yeah. an overall effect, your overall feeling when you get in here is just of leatheriness and, and very luxurious leatheriness. And wood. Notice it has a, a leather ceiling, and I find a leather ceiling in a car a bit pervy. Yeah. When I filled it up last night, an activity which you will do a reasonable amount in. Um, the, the filler flap is that quality and weight is and it? feel, which is gorgeous. Oh, I see. That's why, you, that's why you pay your money. Yeah, you say that, Rich. But I'm unhappy, and I'm happy, I'm happy because what am I going to touch approximately every 30 seconds when I'm driving this car? Are the stalks? Oh, there's Fe- new stalks. Look at them, feel them. Those are not the usual Bentley stalks, which have got... The usual ones have got little knurly metal bits on them. There's no nice. knurled metal. So this, that I t- how often do I touch that in relation to that? How often do I adjust it's a, it's that? It's a 10 to 1 ratio, at least. Right. I'm, I'm being petty, but I'm going to dig my teeth in because I feel strongly about it. I just think we have to be that critical of a car of this calibre because this car is, is, is very exclusive, is extremely expensive, and it, I think it, does, it should be tremendous in so many ways. Yeah, I, Why I not? think for 200 and something grand, 203. you have a right to demand perfection. I, I think because you're not buying this car because it's handsome because I'm afraid it just isn't. No. 
and you're buying this car for comfort, which it is. The ride is really very good. Ride's brilliant. I've noticed this on these terrible roads around London. It is. It's. And this I'm, is on I'm, 20 I'm just, I'm, twos, I think. I'm stopping short of saying buttery, but it's definitely in the spectrum of, of, a, of a dairy product. Just be careful. Yogurty.